Hello, I'm Tawa Moriyama from the University of Electrical Communication, Japan. Today, I would like to talk about wearable haptic device that can be used in a VR which presents the haptic sensation of fingertips to the forearm. So a lot of haptic devices are developed, but the size of these devices may interface with the movement of each finger. To tackle this issue, we propose a method of presenting the strength and direction of a force normally given to the fingertip to the forearm. This is our portal device. The device is fixed to the arm with a velocity. The five-bar linkage driven by two DC motors and gel shield that connects the skin to the middle point of the five-bar link. This device has two five-bar linkage on the top and the bottom of the wrist. Based on the result of the previous report, the top part of the wrist corresponds to the index finger and the bottom part corresponds to the thumb. The five-bar linkage mechanism can realize the presentation of two degrees of freedom force. The two motors can be driven in opposite direction to present a pressure sensation and to the same direction to present a friction sensation to the skin. We have conducted a force measurement experiment using the prototype device. The maximum output was approximately 6.1 Newton which is almost equal to the value calculated using the equation based on the kinematics of the five-bar linkage mechanism. Next, we perform the task of grasping a VR object in the VR space and placing it at the target position by wearing the portal device. Also, we have prepared three other conditions to compare. A condition with a hapti without haptics, a viable tactile presentation to the fingers, and viable tactile presentation to the forearm. The time to complete the task and the comfort level of the experiments of the task were examined and compared. Four conditions were presented randomly and we asked the users to grasp the VR object and placing it at the target position for five times. For each condition, the users were asked to indicate their comfort level on the Likert scale. This figure summarizes the average time required to move the VR object to the specified position for each presentation condition. As a result, no significant difference was found. However, it can be seen that the overall tendency was that the condition with our portal device was the quickest to finish. This figure summarizes the result of comfort level in each condition. The results were significantly higher in the condition using the portal device compared to the condition where no false haptic sensation was presented and the condition where vibrotactile sensation was presented to the whole arm. On the other hand, there was no difference in the result compared to the condition where vibrotactile sensation was presented to the fingers. If you are interested in these results, please see our paper. Thank you for your listening.